En Hanna, wat wil je? Uh, ik wil graag speels opgeknipt hier. Yeah. Allemaal kleine stukjes. Yeah. Zodat dat niet in mijn ogen zit. Yeah. Hanna wil een playable, uh, playful uh, short hairstyle. So she wants the front a lot shorter and uh, yeah, make some beautiful hairstyle for her. This hairstyle is uh, from the last time cutting. So she turns, so you see how wonderful it is when you use the natural lines in the hairstyle and the end result after uh, such a long time. Mag je rondje draaien? Oh. Mag ik een beetje snel. Sneller? Ja, is goed. Ik laat ook de foto's zien. Ja, is goed. Oh, ja, dat is goed. Oké. Dank je wel. Hello friends on YouTube. <laughs> Come to Anna's hair again. Now start of course with protection, like I always do. And you hear what she wants. She wants a playful front. So it must be a lot shorter because you don't like hair in the face. And the rest, I adapt the lines into that. Thank you for that new hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Start with wetting the hair. The nice thing when you wet hair the way it is, is that you can see all the lines and movements of the hair. So you know where the hair goes, what's curling the most. And when you start with washing, you don't see that. And especially when you want to have short hair starts, it's very important to know what the hair does or not, does not do. She loves to have a little bit hair on the back, so there I leave a little bit length. In front I would do with uh, the hot razor, that gives me the most freedom in cutting. And the rest I will certainly do with hot too. Comb the hairs. I always uh, adjust also the, and correct the colors. I don't like the, the golden colors in uh, this kind of hairstyle, so I can also do this in front of the haircut. This I do with no yellow spray of attitude. Apply this on the hair, it doesn't damage, it just gives it a wonderful condition. And it reduces the yellow tones in the hair. So it gives it that fresh feeling and nice clean. And it's much better than a silver shampoo. Aan kleur? Ja. ja, dat is een groot verschil. Heel veel verschil, ja, maar heel veel verschil in kleur nu ook. Ja. ja, maar dat is juist een leuk. Oké, okay, start this haircut on the front and on the sides. So I take a moon shape to the front of the ears, set the hairs behind this on a clip and show the line I just parted. Then I take the hair stop in that line, knowing she wants to have a playable front. So I'll go in with my hot knife and work into the lines. Knowing that she don't like hair in her face, the front is of course the shortest. Ik ja, heb een heel klein beetje op mijn oren. Ja, zeker. Ja. Een klein ja. Mag ik wel praten met jou of niet? Ja, zeker. Oh. In the meantime, we talk Dutch to each other. <laughs> She just asked me that if that's allowed. It is. And what she asked me is to hold a little bit hair on the ears. So to hold this line nice and soft. This is on my first lines. On the ears, you have to be aware that the tool is 190 degrees Celsius, so you don't lay it on skin because then you will burn the skin. Take part of the upper hair on it. 
take it over the line of cutting and lay the hairs in the line of falling. Give it a playable effect. Watch how it falls. I see a nice dish jumps. Wetting in between. Go to the other side. Take the hairs over in the natural roundings. Put my hot tool on it and create that playful fringe at the front. No hard lines. Take some new hair on it. Work only with the tip and connect it off the line of cutting. And do this till I get on the fall of the hairs to create the side the same I did on the other side. By pulling on the hairs I give it some more swing effect. So I lay the upper hairs more in a line and I give a little bit of layer on the fall of the forehead. So I give this a bit of play effect. The same I did on the other side, go in, take a moon shape, pin the hairs on the back, wetting. Turn a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Adjust my camera. Okay. Just can I get that so yeah, come on, let's see. Yeah. Take the hairs up in the fall of the skull. And go to the front. And move the hairs into that fall. So you have to find yourself the lines. Not stay in one place, just swing through the hair. Keeping reminding that she don't like hairs in her face, she just wants a jumpy effect of the hairs. She don't want the ears free, so on the ears I take a little bit on it, then go back to the front, turning in, and adjust the lines. Feel wonderful free this feels. Take a line on this about a centimeter more. Lay it on top. Come a bit higher up so you can see that. Wetting the hairs. Take the hairs up free so I don't use any parting. And on this line, I give it that jumpy effect she wants. When I come on the fall, I go into the fall. So I swing in the curve of the skull using the line she already has. And go gently in. When you come on the ear, you see that the hairs go to the back. So use that. Don't be afraid to use the natural lines. Watch how it falls. Nicely jumping. Coming at the upper hair. Now knowing that the hair on the front is short, I take the hairs up in the center, twist the hairs, see the parts that jump out, go in there, 
and slice cuts with my hot razor in the opposite lines. So I get a real nice, clean, funky, free feeling in the hairs. I really love this kind of techniques because it gives a, a, yeah, a lot of playful effects. It's always nice. You cannot cut this with a normal system. Then go on the side. Take the hairs up. Twist. Watch that the hairs jump out. And there I go in with my knife. This my daughter has one again. That's black one. Leuk hoor, het wordt nou wel leuk. Jump them up, ja, lekker speels hè. Ja. I would never do this with a normal um, razor or uh, feather knife because that would damage the hair too much. But with my hot tool I will certainly no, get no damage at all at hairs. And you see I work like a clock, every time turning and take the hairs on the point where I did the cut the first time. So I know that my length is everywhere almost the same. So take this to the front, see the jumping out, and there I go in. Go to this side, take the hairs up, pull them on the fall of the hairs, see them jumping out. Hm. Mooi hè? Leuk om te zien. Het is leuk om te zien, ja. ja. I did this technique the first time uh, Christmas uh, for two years ago. I call it then the Christmas tree because it was Christmas. But I still love it a lot because it gives me so much freedom in cutting hair. And you can see that it looks a bit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's why I call it the Christmas tree technique. I see also partners of me in crime that do hair, do the same things. So I really love it. And that's, the, that's why I do YouTube, just to share my knowledge with you. Now on the back she has a lot of weight. So what I do here is I take a large part, take this up. Knowing that I have only um, some air in the under hair, so I go in the under hair and do this also to the under hair. So I give it a playable effect just to give it a jumpy effect and not have a pancake on the head. But I do this only on the under hair. So you see the upper hair is laying on top and it gives that nice freedom feeling and not too much air and air into the hairs. Now can you connect the sides to the front. Part hairs. From the line I part it on the ear. To the front in the natural curves. Turn a bit. Go in a bit. Mm. Yeah, like a first copy fail. Yeah. Like look. First line to the front because the fall on the ears is always, mostly always, to the back. Also in her case. So this is my first line. Then take my first centimeter of hair, curve it into the natural lines, watch at the line of the ear because that's almost the same rounding as the rounding of the skull. Go in and give it that same line. So you see this line is the same line as that line. Go in again. Take a bit away below the skull lines. The skull bone is laying around here. 
So I only take in the underlines, I take a little bit away of the hairs and give it also a nice soft flowing line. I almost never use hard lines on a bit older women. It's still looking wonderful. And I really love them because I'm also an old guy. <laughs> Take the same browning, lay there on it, see what it does. The natural shape here is going this way, the natural shape there is going that way. So, Take the hairs up, watch at this line, go till, till I get to the fold to the back, there I twist over, turn my fingers in and lay the hairs in the natural shapes. Take them over again, watch at the skull bone. Ben je blij dat het niet meer zo heet is? Ja, zeker. Oh, wat was het heet, hè? Het verdeelde... Ik was er slaap, hoor. Met ja, ik ook heel veel slechter slapen. Ik kijk nu weer helemaal gewoon. Ja. Ik slecht slapen. Ja. In the center, I go from the other parts. Knowing that I'm certain that I have enough length to give it that wonderful rounding. See how wonderful this falls. Now I'll also show you the difference between the right side and the left side. So you see this is almost hanging flat now because there's no shape in it. And this gives that nice rounding so you see the skull much nicer and the fall of the skull. So you get a much more interesting head shape. always work till I get on the center so now I go to the front again part is line always go in the natural curves clip this aside first part goes to the back so I take it also to the back and then you see the fall changing so you see it going to the front so I take it up like this put it to the back and lay it nicely into the fold. Still being aware that my tool is hot and I don't want to burn the ears. On the lines on the contour, nice soft. Take a new line on it. That's a look that you model done. Yeah. Yeah, ja, look. You have a look, a look copy on the knip ook. Yeah. Lekker kop haar ook. Yeah. Behoorlijk. Yeah. Behoorlijk. Yeah. 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 Maar je hebt ook goede huid en dan kun je ook zien, je ziet aan de glans van je haar, dus dan is je huid ook goed op bloed. Dan zie je de kwaliteit van haar ook aan af. En je ziet, jouw huid is altijd een beetje, een beetje klein, een beetje vettig van nature. Nou, dat is echt geweldig. De meesten hebben hele droge huid als ze wat ouder worden. Talk a bit about aging in Dutch. And you see how wonderful her hair glows. It's still in a wonderful condition, but you see. Also this on the shades of the skin, the shine of the skin. So it's just, yeah, very healthy to, to watch. Come to my last part. Lay it to the front, go in, go in with the rounding. 
take the underline, go in with the rounding, take the center on it, and also of that side. Now wet it a bit, stand a bit strange in the lines of her. So I turn a bit so I can better see what I'm doing. Go up to the line I just created and take the line down in a natural fall. You see how easy it is to work with a hot tool. I really love this tool. I, I wouldn't work without it. And for the person who has a cut with this hot tool, the hair always feel very nice and soft. And it holds all the strength till the next cut. Watch it, the nature falls. Only have here a little part that's a little bit thick. So I take the hair up and just with the tip I give it some thinning effect in the underlines. So I create that same jumping effect as now you see it's more in balance with each other. But turn a bit. Still on the kopje. Wow. What is ademing? Lekker is that, eh? Dat is ook wel erg lang hoor. Ja, dat staat ook sowieso mooi. Wetting the hair in between, just to fall, to see all the falls. You can always see the darkness of color. And then you always can adjust it a bit. Because it's nearly too perfect. But it can always be more perfect, especially when you make a YouTube video and you don't have cameraman or women. Um, you have to do all the things yourself. So I'm standing always beside my models to show you what I'm doing. And that's hard to do. Because when somebody would make a video or film of my, uh, my handling, it would be nicer because I could stand on the place where you normally are. And they could make a video over my shoulders. But I manage. So far the cut. Now I can clean the contour line a bit and then can dry it. On the copy, you like a thing, you know. Like a thing, maybe. Je knapt er zo van op altijd. Yeah. Is echt leuk om te zien. Dit is ook erg leuk. Ja, heel speel. Speels. Yeah. Take only the hairs that I need for the soft. Pull aside and take the hard lines away. So you don't miss them and they're always in the way. And correct the baseline. Do the same on the neckline. Set with my comb the hairs aside and take away the small hairs I don't need. It's not much. This kind of woolly hairs you can always take away because they never be more than woolly hairs. And by the time your hormones are changing, <laughs> your muscles will also have breast. Do the same on this side. Here, the long baby coffee here. I see the film, okay. Lay the hairs aside. That I need for the soft lines. Put the other hairs away. Lay them back. Correct the line a bit. But holding that softness is also again on the neckline. Leuk als je alles uitlegt, dat je alles meekrijgt, wat je doet. Ja. Voor mij ook was leerzaam voor mezelf, toch? Ja? Ja. Ik leer altijd nog weer bij. Wat je het vertelt. Ja. 
Ik vind het nog steeds niet saai. Nee. Nou, voor zo de kat. So now I can uh, dry her hair and show you the end result. So now, for the last time, because I used some of this product, of course, with uh, the cutting, I put a little bit on the hairs and just watch where I need to get some correction of the color. And when somebody has this product and think it's too violet colored, you can always make yourself a nice tea and put it over it and it's gone. Now I give this uh, hairstyle just to blow dry with uh, my use of my hands. So give it effect by pulling a bit on the hairs and that jumpy effect. Dat heb ik ooit verschillen hier hoor. Nou, zo kan ik wel op vakantie hè. Ja, ik ga binnenkort ook op de kunstgroep wat filmpjes maken hier. Dus, uh, Ja. Bij hun op locatie. Ja. Dus ook dan mensen knippen daar. Oh, oké. Okay. Dat is zo leuk, terwijl ze bezig zijn met kunst. Ja. Moet je maar mee naar achteren doen. Ja, toch? Ja, dat kan. Je kunt alle kanten mee op. Je kunt naar achteren en naar voren. Ja, dit is een stukje van Dat is een heel ander gezicht als je ja, naar voren absoluut. doet, hè? Ja. Ja, kijk je een heel Frans kopje krijg je dan. Dan krijg je een heel andere uitstraling. Frans kopje? Ja, een beetje Frans uh, uitstraling krijg je. Ah, ja? Ja, ik ben nog zo Frans. Maar het is leuk om dat tijd te kunnen te laten zien, want dat is dan niet anders. Een beetje opletterlijk pap, maar je ziet er wel natuurlijk. Ja. Nou, zo gaat blow drying. Ja, fantastisch hoor, leuk. Ja, nog even afstijlen. Afstijlen. Afstijlen, een klein beetje los erin. Oh. Dit is een style of with uh, Crystal Turn, het is een product van Goldwell. Het adds een beetje uh, wax to the hair, maar ook een beetje bit gel. En dat geeft dat funky feeling van being. <laughs> Het ook al funky. Ja, het is always funky. <laughs> This is the hairstyle. You don't have to know a lot of hair to do something beautiful with it. I certainly think it brings out the best in her. I thank her for being my mom. I thank you for watching. She will certainly turn, so you see the end result. Clean the last small hairs and neckline. Brush them away. They're always nasty on photos because then you can see them all. Bye bye. Lieve schat, we gaan een rondje draaien. Zo? Ja. Sneller? Nee, dat is goed zo, dat is mooi. En dankjewel voor het model zijn. Mm, dankjewel. <laughs> Foto's